we're finally leaving Italy and it's really sad. So we just gave our bags and like got our tax returns and everything done and we were like in such a rush to leave for the airport and I had another issue with my AirPods and I literally left them at the airport. So at the airport? I mean at the hotel. hotel in my bed and I like remember putting them on the bed and I was like before I went to bed last night it was really weird because I was like oh well I can't forget my AirPods. Like I know I won't forget them and then I end up forgetting them. So that's really annoying. But um, we just stopped at this cute little juice place. It's so cool because the places at the airport to eat are so much better than they are in the States. This is like fresh squeezed juice and like croissants and stuff and smoothies and they literally make it all for you. Like you can see like they have juicers and there's a guy in the back doing it and they have all the fresh produce over there. Like I wish that they had stuff like this at home because I feel like whenever I travel I'm always eating the worst stuff and, and then I feel really sick. So yeah. So funny they literally just hand you the croissant on <laughs> a little napkin. It's like so casual and everyone just stands around. Well, there used to be a lot of people here, but everyone just kind of stands around, eats their croissants and drinks their juice. This is my orange juice. <laughs> it's so good. But they gave me a little cup and then they gave Gretchen a big one. Maybe because you got lemon, orange, and grapefruit. But it's so good. So I solved my problem and I got some headphones at the airport. I just got the Apple regular ones because they have the little adapter that can fit into my phone right here. So I got those. Thank God I could get like headphones like that for the plane. I actually love the Apple headphones. I know some people like don't like them, but I love them. And then we got some food before we leave. I got a caprese panini and then also a coffee. So we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna go find our gate in a little while. And I'm glad because we have and I'm really glad because oh, we have like so much time. I'm like slipping off of this couch right here um, because we have so much time before we like have to get our flight. So we had like a lot of time to walk around and like do stuff and get like waters. We got a little breakfast when we showed up. Oh my god guys we literally have had the longest like day ever so yeah. you guys know <laughs> we left Rome this morning and then landed in Montreal at 2 30 and so that's like why my hair is a mess I've literally been traveling all day so I just want to tell you guys about like what happened on our flight you guys probably would have seen Gretchen's um, Instagram post but we were on the plane and I was like so relaxed for the first, I think it was like three hours of the plane. Um, you guys know like I lost my AirPods and I had to get some headphones and I was listening to the Gossip Girl series on Audible just because Gretchen was like, Maggie, like watch these movies with me. Like I'm gonna download a bunch of movies and a bunch of TV shows and you guys know that like I don't really like movies and I don't really like watching TV. Like I just can't sit still and like watch something. I don't know why, I just like my mind races and I think of 50 different things. I literally need to like have headphones in, close my eyes, and like just sit there and then I'm like listening to my book everything's great and literally we thought that the plane was gonna like I don't even want to say this because I'm scared because we're going on another flight right now knock on, wood. knock on wood oh my god it was the scariest moment of my whole entire life we were sitting on the plane and I like took one of my headphones out and I was like so, um, saying something to Gretchen and then all of a sudden we heard this big loud like noise coming from like the bottom of the plane I don't know if it was because we were like in the back or like what it was but we just kept hearing this really loud noise and we were like what is that and then all of a sudden the plane was like going 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 and it literally would like drop and then it would come back up and it would drop and then it would go like to the left and to the right and it was just like insane like turbulence mixed with this sound that we've never heard and it was so crazy and we were both sitting there like literally crying and like shaking and holding hands I was like Gretchen are we gonna be okay like are we gonna be okay I don't know what to do and she was like Maggie like I don't know what to do either right as she and was saying are we gonna be okay I was like maybe we're not okay and I felt so and I literally was like my heart was racing and the first thing I thought of was that if like I had Wi-Fi I literally would have texted Tyler Kaylee my mom my dad my brother my sister like all my other friends and I would have just been like guys like I I'm so scared of the plane right now like if something bad happens just know that I love you like that's how bad it was so yeah that was really awful 
And then like for the rest of the flight, it like wasn't as bad, um, but I was still really like shook about what happened. I like sit with my eyes closed and breathe and relax and yeah, but that was a lot. And so now it's 5.34 and we are boarding our plane in 10 minutes to go back to Boston and it's felt like the longest day ever. look where I am I'm in my room in Bridgewater at my apartment and I'm just trying to like unpack some stuff and do some laundry just because I'm going to Tyler's tomorrow but yeah so I'm gonna go take a shower and get in bed because it's really really late it literally is 9 25 so it's 3 25 in the morning I'm gonna go to bed now but I will be vlogging tomorrow so I will see you guys. Good morning guys. So I just got to Boston and I am gonna do Soul Cycle. So I literally like woke up this morning and I woke up before my alarm, which is really funny because I thought I was gonna be so tired, like not be able to get up for it. So I set an alarm for nine. I ended up getting up at like seven o'clock and then I went back to bed for an hour and then I woke up by myself at like eight, eight fifteen. Then I got ready, got a coffee from Starbucks, came to Boston, and I had to get new Soul Cycle leggings because I didn't pack any leggings for Italy and then I literally just like went to my apartment and I was like oh my god if I'm gonna go to Soul Cycle in the morning how am I gonna go if I don't have leggings so I had to come a little bit early and go to Lululemon to get some new leggings that I'll show you guys when I get out of the car but I'm gonna start walking over now just because the class starts in 15 minutes and I'm taking a class with Lisa this morning and I'm really excited These are the leggings that I got. They're just my Soul Cycle leggings that you guys know I love, but I got them in like an army green color. So I'll have these ones linked down below for you guys. They are my absolute favorite. And I also have all my favorite white sports for how you guys know I like these as well. So I'll have this one down below too. I just finished up at Soul and it was literally the best class ever. Now I'm posting a little Instagram story. You can't really see it, but I just got dig in and I got broccoli, um, some greens on the bottom, tofu, and a sweet potato that's somewhere underneath i literally got like oh wait this is the sweet potato yeah i got tofu sweet potato broccoli and then greens underneath and then sriracha sauce and it's literally so good i haven't been digging in a while and if you guys are ever in the boston area literally come here because it's kind of like sweet green but like different you can like make your own bowls and stuff and they're all like warm and have like fresh tofu and chicken you can get salmon you can literally get whatever you want and it's so good I'm walking to my car right now and it's super windy so I don't know if you'll be able to hear me but I totally forgot I just realized at lunch that I forgot to pay my parking because Gretchen called me literally right at 12 o'clock when I was leaving my car because she wanted to book our bikes for Soul Cycle because they come out at 12 oh yeah so I forgot to pay my parking and literally look it's on my car it was gonna be here. Ugh, I'm so mad. But whatever. <sighs> Ugh, I literally knew that I was gonna get a ticket. But I mean, it's $25, so I'm just gonna have to pay that. Oh well. Um, but I'm literally like so hot right now, and I feel like hazy. I don't know, I just like don't feel good right now. I think I'm like super jet lagged, and I like don't think I ate enough like before soul cycle so i just like feel super sick now i have to go um to newberry street which is just like one street over from where i am right now and i have to bring gretchen her bag with her scarf her gucci scarf and then like her jewelry that she bought in italy because she left them in my carry-on and i was like oh my god i have like all of gretchen's stuff so i should like probably give it back to her and she happened to be on newberry getting her hair done like today and I'm leaving Seoul so I'm gonna go bring her all of that stuff and then I'm gonna head to North Andover and spend the night with Tyler oh, I need to like sit for a second though because I like feel super lightheaded so I just dropped off Gretchen's bag and I saw her and Louisa and we like plan to go to Soul Cycle tomorrow so it's like Gretchen and I just came back from obviously our trip to Italy and then like I saw her today i'm gonna see her again tomorrow and then i think we're doing soul like the next like three days so it's so funny we literally were like booking all of our um bikes this morning and so like we're taking so many soul classes her and louisa literally booked 18 soul cycle classes this week 
before she goes to Italy. She's doing like a bunch of doubles. Sorry, I'm like talking with gum in my mouth right now. Um, but yeah, I know people like hate when I do that, but I didn't mean to. But I'm gonna go get my eyebrows studded at Boston Threading on Newberry just because they're like so bad. And my eyelashes are so bad too. I literally don't have any eyelashes. I don't know if you guys can see, but like all right here, it's like all empty. So I have my eyelashes on Friday and I'm doing eyebrows and nails today. So I'm at Madewell now and I just tried on this dress and it's so cute. And it's just like a plain, simple little t-shirt dress with little ties. And then I'm also gonna get this bralette with like these matching underwear. And then I also am getting the same thing just in this nude color because I like how they go longer in their lace. I don't know, I just think they're super cute. Like under a v-neck, like white t-shirt with some um, denim shorts and like cool sandals. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna get that stuff. And then, oh, I'm also gonna get this because I have like a bigger version of it. And I really like it. So I'm gonna get this one like for my makeup when I just bring around like a few things. Yeah, so I'm so excited to get all these things. They're super cute and I'm gonna be showing them in a haul video. Soon I have like a bunch of stuff that I recently got that I'm gonna like put together all in one. I'm back now in the car. I was gonna bring my camera with me to, wait, I'm taking out my gum. This is annoying. Um, so anyway, I just got my nails done and I got this really nice like neutral nude color. I'll show you. And it's by D&D, &D, and I think it's called Havana Cream. That's what it's called. And then I got this really bright pink color on my toes that just looks like that. And honestly, I feel like it's a little too bright for me right now. But whatever, it's fine. I feel like your toes, like no one really notices anyway, so I'm just going to deal with that. But I just got my nails done, like I said, and I'm waiting for my phone to charge because I'm going to go to Tyler's house right now. And I'm getting my nails done in this town and I just like went to a random place I typed it in my GPS and it brought me there But I don't know how to get to his house from here And I don't want to like go the wrong way and like get lost So I have to wait for my phone to charge so and then I can GPS my way to his house um, And yeah, so that is what I did and guys I hit 100k on YouTube And I'm so happy and I like literally all day Tyler and Gretchen like everybody had been texting me like oh my god You're so close like saying all that stuff and I was driving and then I was stuck in traffic for a while like literally stopped on the highway so I was like you know what I like went on my phone to check it and I like went on YouTube and I clicked on it and I hit 100k and I was all by myself and it was so sad I don't know but then I was just like so happy and it like made me really emotional and then Gretchen called me and I don't know I just am like so like, I can't believe it and I'm so happy and like thankful and grateful and I don't know I just like owe it all to you guys because without you guys I would not be where I am it just like makes me so happy and like I don't know I just feel like I say this all the time but literally if you want to do something in the world or like do something that you love like there's no way that you wouldn't be able to do it like my best friend Molly texted me and was like Maggie I'm so happy for you I'm so proud of you like you literally took your dream and you made it a reality so if I can do it so can you and with that being said everybody just go out there and do what you love and I swear like if you just stop caring about what people think of you and like stop doing like what everybody thinks is like the norm then you'll just be so much happier and like I don't know that's my rant <laughs>